arm. Good morning to you land lovers. Today we're gonna work on my Fountain 24. We have to do some safety stuff. If you're new to the channel, my name is Captain Dan. Arr. And today we're gonna be working on my Fountain 24. We need to get a new wheel stud put in on the trailer and we need to get the tires replaced because the front tires are complete crap. So we're gonna do that because, well, that's a safety concern and I don't need to die and I don't want my wheel to go flying off. Those things would be bad. Before we get started, just real quick, if you could go visit normalguysupercar.com, there you can buy supercar parts and accessories. That is how I pay my bills. So thank you so much to all of you that have done that in the past and those of you that are gonna do it in the future. So let me show you what we're dealing with here. All right, so this is my Fountain 24, which we got covered up because we, uh, we're not gonna use it for a few days, but you can see this tire is completely dry rotted. So it is in really bad shape. You do not wanna use that tire, it is a safety concern. And then of course we have right there, a wheel stud that snapped off. So both front tires are in complete crap condition. The good news is the rear tires are actually in reasonably good condition. So these are 2017s. Check the date code. I can't even find the date code on those. They're just garbage. All right, we've got the jack out. We're gonna jack up this side and then undo the tire because we're gonna have to pound out that stud. I already got the other tire off. So just did the same thing. I'll obviously just remove the tire. Shouldn't be too difficult with the impact gun. And then we'll get this sucker out of there. This thing makes a lot of creaks and cricks when you're jacking it up. It's kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> just right in the frame. Ugh, I hate that. Oh, sounds so horrible. See what I mean? It's like worse than jacking up a car. car. There we go. That's off. Okay. All right, let's pull the brake hub off. I might have to whack it with the hammer. I think maybe you gotta pull off the whole spindle. Yeah, maybe you do. There's a C-clip in there, let's try that. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this uh, bearing off, so gotta get it just right. Kinda tap in there, maybe use the screwdriver a little. There we go. Pry it off just a little bit. <laughs> God, it does not want to stay in place. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. There, okay, got the bearing off. Well, I should be Cotter pin, there it is. You got a lot of grease in there. That's a good thing. We're happy to have a lot of grease in there. Okay, gotta get that cotter pin out. It's kind of impossible to see anything with all the grease. Come on. There, I got it out. Okay, now, well, castle nut. This is a really disgusting job, by the way. All right, got the castle nut. Now I gotta be careful because the bearings don't wanna come out. There's the bearing. Now we should be able to get the hub. Oh yeah, there we go. And the other bearing. Oh, that's pressed in pretty good, so we're gonna leave it. All right, you can see that is the backside of the wheel hub. There are my studs. We need to pound out the stub, stud, so we're just gonna flip it over and pound it out. Uh, probably need to clean this up a little bit too. It's pretty gross in there. All right, just use a hammer and chisel. We need to get a punch. Yeah, it's gonna work better with a punch. Okay. 
There. Out it came. There it is. All right, got my little stud. We gotta go to the parts store and buy a new one. Six and a half hours later. All right, YouTube. It's been a few hours. I have my new stud with a new lug. So we're gonna throw this into the uh, into the brake rotor. Well, whatever it's called, brake drum. And where are you? It's this one down here. Tap it in place a little bit. Oh shit. Jeez, oh, all my shit's falling out. All right, let's tap it down a little. There. Now that that's on, get this back on there. You okay? Uh huh. That makes you yourself. I'm talking to the camera. Oh, okay. There's that. All right. Hit the bearing. There it is. I was looking for the ring. Okay, so bearing goes in first. I got the ring. Oh, it's got a slot. There we go. Now the castle nut. And you're not supposed to go super tight on these. There we go. Okay, cotter pin. Get you in there, come on. All right. There's that. At one side, there. All right, got the spring that goes on the outside of the this guy. All right, let's get some clean it off a little. Okay, my spring. And there, and that's in, clips in. Okay, so now that we got everything back in, we gotta add some grease. Let's get the grease gun connected onto the Zerk fitting. Let's pressurize it with a bunch of grease. Okay, and now the cap. Okay, and she is ready to have a tire. All right, got my new tire. Up, oh, need to jack it up just a tiny bit more. There. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna torque them down with this. I'm just gonna get it so that they're snug. Okay, I'll bring it down. All right, and we're gonna torque them down to 90 foot-pounds. All right, Woo. let me tell you, it is so, so hot. Uh, anyway, got it all set. So now the trailer is much, much safer. So new tires, got that stud fixed. Makes me feel a lot better about towing that boat because last thing I needed was a wheel 
blowing up or falling off or something stupid like that. Always make sure if you're buying a new vehicle that you check the tires, not just the depth, but also the date codes. We knew what we were getting into. We knew these tires were old and bad, so it was just expected and planned into the budget. But you know, any tires that are about five years old or so, probably about the limit of what I would consider safe. So factor it into your budget when you're buying a new car. But all right, so don't forget, if you would like to help me out, please go visit normalguysupercar.com and use the code NGS10. There you can buy supercar parts and services that we have to offer for you. Thank you so much to all of you that have done that in the past. And for those of you that will do it in the future, I do appreciate it tremendously. So thank you so much. But we have lots more car stuff coming your way, so you're going to want to stay tuned. It's going to be sweet.